Hey guys, Dick Smith here with Everyone Evolution. I'm gonna do an ARE review. We've had this cap about, let's say, roughly two weeks, and I've had a little bit of time with it, a little bit of trail time, and I'm just gonna give you first impressions. Now I have an actual working window. The installers finally put a window in that's where the slider area was, and we're gonna see what we can do to basically take a quick look at this. I have some things I like, some things I don't like, and we'll go over that once we get a better look here. Okay, one of the first things you're going to notice is it is very heavy. If you take notice here, you can actually see where the back end is sagging slightly. And that is with an additional three quarter inch spacer to try to make up for the difference. So the weight is something that I am definitely not impressed with, although it's not that much heavier than the aluminum and the stainless steel caps that are also on the market. If you look from the rear, you can see that it actually does follow the body lines very well. I don't know if it's the installer or if it's the actual design, but it appears that it should slide slightly farther forward. I haven't measured it out yet to see if that can be done. But other than that, the body lines do follow very well. One of the things I opted to go with was the lockable open windows. They actually kick up, so you're going to use them as a little bit of additional cover if you have gear inside while you're loading. In the rain, it's not going to just come pouring right in on you. With the windows open, you can pretty much access anything you need to get to. You can reach in here from any angle. There's really nowhere that you can't reach, which is actually kind of nice. Um, some of the other caps on the market have a similar design, but I don't know if they actually go this far to give you this much access from the sides. As I mentioned before, one of the things I opted to go with was the slider on the inside here. The Gladiator hardtop itself has a rear slider window and this gives me the ability to slide things through from the inside or if we're inside want to pull things from the actual cap area itself we can that i like um, one of the big things that i'm not sure if i like or not is the color match most other caps that i looked at color match was going to be an additional 500 dollars are included it so there was no additional fee since it was basically a free upgrade, I went for the color match. One of the reasons I decided to do a review today is later this afternoon, I'm going to try to put my Rhino Rack platform up on top there. I ordered what was supposed to be an adapter kit. It doesn't look like it's going to work, so I'm probably going to end up pulling from spare parts we have in the garage. See if we can make something work. But if all goes well, this is going to be the last day. That it looks like this will hopefully have one of the larger platforms on top by this evening so overall i'm very happy with keeping things dry i'm happy with the space provided i'm happy with the access that it provides still don't know if i like the look starting to think i would have rather gone with just black stayed away from the color match or eventually maybe color match the hard top to go along with it that i don't know yet we'll see if maybe putting a roof rack on top breaks up all that additional color that I'm not used to seeing. But for the most part, I think I'm happy with it. So we'll get a little bit more trail miles and see what we think of it. But for now, we're gonna go with uh, probably worth the money. Right, that's it for now, and hopefully next time we, you guys see this, it'll have a platform on top. 